Coming up next, I mean, you got to love this name, Muhammad Ali. He's going to tell us about some software development as a service. Don't stop. Just keep coming. Yeah, there you go. All right, Mohammed, you can take either mic, hit the space bar, and it's all you. Thank you. So uh, I guess with that, uh, with that name, it's all downhill from here. So. <laughs> Hard to live up. Anyways, um, so this is a slightly different presentation. We're going to talk you through our thesis and, um, and why we're developing this. Essentially, the world's been through three major cycles of growth in economic productivity. Um, the agrarian, which um, lasted for the longest, basically was driven off of crop yield. You move to the industrial age, it was largely driven off of factory output. And now what if the core set of metrics that are going to drive the information age are, are driven off of code velocity? What kind of impact can we expect off of that? So essentially, if it's anything like the impact that factory output had, then it'll be huge. Essentially, if you look at the uh, US GDP in the 1700s, it was non-existent. You move forward to 1913, and it's basically 20% of world GDP. That was largely driven off of factory output. So before we go any further, what do we really mean by code velocity? From our point of view, it's the speed at which code is developed, deployed, and executes in order to attain a competitive advantage. So if you look at companies that are leveraging code velocity well, they're clearly winning. Um, Amazon, for example, you know, just they, from, from what I've heard, they do about 50 million deploys uh, a year across all of their environments. So that works out to about 1.6 deploys a second. Um, how do their closest competitors compare? Probably, probably not, not even really close. Um, so our company is built around this thesis, and uh, what we're trying to do is essentially drive forward um, optimization of code velocity, particularly through an approach that we call Code Factory. Archimedes is a software development as a service platform. That, that's one aspect of this code factory. And sort of you can think of it as an outsourced code factory. You input user stories and receive code back in about uh, 48 hours. We began to develop the concept behind Archimedes following the launch of a product that we helped build for one of our clients. Post go live, the client wanted features built, but the, uh, the requests were coming in in a very bursty manner. So we looked at, um, at various you know, traditional consulting models, time and material, fixed fee, et cetera. Nothing seemed to make sense for one reason or the other. It was either suboptimal for us or suboptimal for the client. So what we ended up doing was coming up with a user story-centric pricing model. And that's essentially what Archimedes is about. Basically, it's very similar to a metered pricing model that you see for consuming cloud services, except this is for software development. Essentially, you purchase a block of credits, and depending on your user, use case, and, and we, we develop code. As the code gets developed, your user stories get, uh, your user credits get consumed. So the overall process is quite simple. You submit a set of user stories associated to your sprint. You review the user stories. And once we agree on the complexity of the user stories, um, the development process starts. The, the overall process in terms of the actual submission and the review is pretty quick. Essentially, we try to get that done in about a day. The development and the acceptance cycles take, uh, it take about 48 hours to complete for, per, per user story. Um, on the screen right now, there's a sample of the submission process. The key point here, though, that I'd like to make is that it's garbage in, garbage out. So your user stories have to be very specific. Your acceptance criteria has to be very specific. Um, if not, um, you, know, you end up with things that may not match your requirements or what the intention was. In terms of the progress itself, you can track the entire development process on platform. Um, you, can, you can follow your GitHub check-ins. You can communicate with our product managers through Slack. So essentially, we've, we've digitized the entire uh, software development process. Once the user story has been developed, you get to test the story and acceptance criteria associated to it. If you're satisfied, then you accept, and only then do credits get deducted from your account. Um, if not, you send it back to us, and we continue bug fixing the user story for you. Now, some might think of this as a pretty rigid process, particularly it's not, uh, you know, if you think of lean startup, it seems, uh, um, it seems a little counter to that. But the truth is, um, you know, if your product is in search mode pre-traction, then maybe this is not the best approach to use. But outside of that, um, it generally is. It's, uh, it's somewhat of an assembly line-like process, but it works well when you're focused on primarily scaling your product post-traction, not necessarily when you're primarily looking at it from a, uh, from a search perspective. So the best use cases happen to be when you're developing features for products that have already been deployed, when you're developing a new microservice, or you're cloud enabling an existing application. Really any situation where you have a good handle on your requirements, something like this works well. So where are we with Archimedes? We are pretty much beyond the search mode ourselves. We are at a point where we are leveraging Archimedes to develop Archimedes. Um, we are running select client projects through it. 
And we're at a point now where we're looking to onboard clients that are basically new to us. So most of the clients that have used our committees are clients that we already knew from the past. Um, so we're looking to basically establish trust very quickly and onboard clients on platform. Um, if this is something that's of interest to you, if you're looking to accelerate your, uh, your code velocity, then you know, reach out to, um, to me through the, through the event, or you can sign up at www.archimedes.com. Right. Thank you. Thank you.